One morning, this was early Sunday morning, I got a phone call asking if I could come in to work and be ferried down to a, uh, an airport we have at uh, Klamath Falls, Oregon to pick up an F-106 that had some maintenance issues that needed to be flown home. So we took off about eight o'clock in the morning heading south. And as we're starting to approach Portland, we're looking down and we're seeing Mount St. Helens that morning and it had a perfect peak on it. And we were commenting how perfectly peaceful that it looked because it had been spitting ash and steam for a few months prior, but that morning perfectly peaceful. And as we sat there looking at it, the top of the mountain just started lifting off. Right in front of our eyes, it started lifting off. At first, it looked like uh, just a cloud with a mass of its own, the way it rolled down the side of the hill. But then after about 10 or 15 seconds, then it started developing vertically, and it developed into one of these uh, mushroom clouds that you may have seen from you know the, the nuke photos. A mushroom cloud had lightning from one part of the, the cloud to the other. Uh, and it, it was just amazing to us. We, uh, we notified Seattle Center, and within a few seconds, he came back and said that, yeah, he was seeing it on his scope, that it was covering an area of about 50 square miles already just from all that ash and stuff. So we took uh, about 10 minutes and orbited and, and taking some photos. The, the pilot I was flying with, Bob, had a camera. Anyway, we went on down to Klamath Falls. Uh, I picked up the airplane, was flying back that afternoon, and as I was flying to the north, I could see that uh, I could still get a return off of that ash up at 55,000 feet. So it was still thick enough up at that altitude that the ash would give a radar reflection. So that was just, it was an amazing event. That was Sunday morning, May 18th, 1980. That was the big eruption of Mount St. Helens.